Welcome to your unlimited life. I'm Carlos Marin, author of the Ultimate Success Formula and creator of the Unlimited Success Academy. And last week, last week, I loved our show. We had a great show where we talked about the mindset that creates luck. However, there was a lot of people out there that they must have not watched the video or didn't read the article because I started getting these comments about there's no such thing as luck and God is the one who gives and God is the one who takes and, and there is no luck. And obviously, obviously you didn't. If you said that, now I know there's a lot of people who <laughs> read the article, watched the video because I got a lot of great comments too. But you know, as I look at this stuff, I see people who comment on stuff without reading the article, just looking at the title of the post, n n never watched the video, never even bothered to take the time to just scan the article, okay? And so I've got to comment on this because this, this is one of my pet peeves. I love it because people sit there all the time complaining, whining, moaning, and groaning about why they're not successful and why they're not where they want to be in life. And then they take all these shortcuts and opine on things that they have no earthly idea what they're talking about. So I've got to comment on this one, okay? And so here it is, because this is going to take your understanding if you're paying attention, if you're watching the video or reading the article, this is going to take your understanding to a whole new level. So while God may not have made such a thing as luck, God did make and did create the principles and the laws that human beings interpret as luck, okay? So think about this for a second. This universe works in perfect order according to law. Who made that law? Some supreme being, right? I choose to call him God or infinite intelligence or infinite mind, whatever you want to call it. But that infinite knowingness, that infinite mind, that infinite intelligence created all things with order and in order. And so there are laws that govern the entire cosmos, the entire universe. The master law that governs all laws is called the law of belief. In olden times, in hermetic law, they called it the law of mind or the law of mentalism. The all is mind, the universe is mental. So all this conjunction of laws, law of correspondence, law of polarity, law of vibration, law of rhythm, law of cause and effect, law of gender, all of these things work in correlation with each other, with themselves, based upon this thing that we call belief. And so what is belief? I mean, it is, it is the power that God, or infinite mind, used to create the entire universe. And we, who all of the Holy Scriptures say that we are made in the image and likeness of God, what does that mean? That means that we were made to, 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 to utilize within that mind to utilize the same powers to create in our world. And so that power that, that God used to create is called belief. And that is the same power that you and I have in order to create in our worlds and our lives. And so you see, there was a book written um, years and years ago by a guy by the name of Claude Bristol, The Power of Belief. And, and this guy studied all of the different things that people attribute to as the cause of, of results. I mean, and he studied religions, he studied, you know, white magic, black magic, voodoo, witchcraft, you know, he looked at everything. He looked at affirmations, he looked at clairvoyance, he looked at rabbit's foots and uh, lucky horseshoes and, and everything, and he saw that there, you know, that, that a lot of those things, or most of those things, worked in some context, right? Now, do you really think that a rabbit's foot gives you luck, or that a horseshoe gives you luck, or do you really think that witchcraft works? I don't. I know that the reason in some circumstances and instances they work is because of the belief that we invest in the agency, okay? And so, the law of life is the law of belief. If we go, and I know I get a lot of flack sometimes from some of my Christian buddies, and, and you know, I, I got to tell you, I've read the book cover to cover, I've studied it in depth, 
many, 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 many years. And Jesus said, okay, that without faith it is impossible to, be, to please God. Now, what is faith? Faith is a very strong, 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 unshakable belief, right? He said, according to your faith, it is done unto you. According to your belief, it is done unto you. He said, whatever you desire, when you pray, believe that you receive it and you shall have it. So, I mean, we can go and we can go in the Old Testament, the New Testament. We can go into other sacred scriptures and you will see this theme. You will see this thing running through all of it. The law of belief is what causes things to manifest in our world. The problem with most of us is that we don't have any earthly idea what we believe because those beliefs have been conditioned at us, in us from such an early age. And that's a lot of what I talk about in the, in the Ultimate Success Formula, my book, uh, in my Unlimited Success Academy, my, my premier uh, uh, online program and, and live event. I teach people how to understand what they believe subconsciously and utilize certain principles and strategies to change those beliefs so that those beliefs serve them instead of, uh, you know, work against them. So while there is no such thing as quote unquote luck, right? It is our beliefs. It is our beliefs about ourselves. It is our beliefs about our business. It's our belief about other people. It's our belief about life, the world we live in. That, that draws things unto us, you know? This whole law of attraction, which is the operating system of the law of cause and effect. I mean, all of these things, right, which, which, which bring things to us, to some people easily, to some people difficultly, and to some people attract them, and some people repel good, right? It is all because of belief. And so the root of luck is really belief, ladies and gentlemen. So. I urge you today to, to, to get in tune with yourself, to question what it is that you believe. Take a look at your life, and I guarantee you the results that you're getting correlate directly with the beliefs that you have about various different things. Money, for example, whether you think it's good or bad. Success, whether you think it's hard or easy. Other people, whether you think that, that they're wonderful and, and, and uh, co-creators and, and supportive of you, or whether you think they're out to get you and they're trying to screw you all the time. Check your beliefs, and I guarantee you the results you're getting in your life, law of correspondence, the beliefs that you have are going to be producing results that are congruent or corresponding to those beliefs. You want to make your own luck? You can make your own luck. Develop beliefs that support you, that empower you, and that help you to create the life of your dreams. So share this show. Share this show with people that you care about, with people that you want to see succeed in life, and join us on our mission to transform the lives of millions of people around the world, helping them to understand that you can be and do and have anything that you want. Just find someone who's already done it, model their belief system, model their strategies, and you can have it too. So until next week, God bless, and you live your unlimited life.